When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost, oh, I will take your hand and we'll rise up from the dust. Oh, first kill there by Kill. The frags roll on the second is going to be big. Rejects is there now. Das is trying to make a play. We'll go for one. Try the free fire onto the second. But from behind, here comes Atomic for two. This is what we know. He would come back to life, still breathing. He's standing up every fight. He's gonna see. Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Shifty here joined by Alex McCormish. Hey, are you ready for this? It's time, baby. Rejects in the slide.
Side out goes in, lays people out, especially when the atomic gun is shooting. Sure, Hawaii on the staircase, actually gonna get killed by a reject there. You already see kill up back over towards the top house by these two. Hello and welcome everybody to the K7 League stream. My name is Hyper187 and I am joined by the lovely Real Deal Deal. How's it going, Deal? Yo, it is going great, Hyper. I can't not wait for today's matchup. We got UGK and 0 to 1. Uh, you know, great teams, 0 to 1. You know, I believe 1 and 1 currently, and then UGK currently 2 and 0. So we got a good uh, yeah. one. Indeed, indeed. Uh, I'm really excited for this match. I haven't seen too much from zero to one, or zero, yeah, zero to one. Um, but as for UGK, I mean, I've heard a lot about them. I've seen a lot about them. Um, they're pretty good in the other leagues that I've seen, especially in this one so far. Yeah, they they have been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I know in this su recent Sunday's elite qualifiers, Juju and Co, aka UGK, uh, they were a match away from qualifying for the Challengers Elites. Uh, they got knocked out in the losers by uh, Doug Sintermarian and his team. So, you know, great team in Juju and Co. But uh, I, you know, I think they really will have a challenge today with zero to one. Okay, okay. Uh, I definitely look to see to what they can do, obviously, going forward. Um, you know, they're one and one currently. Um, I'm not too sure who they lost to. I can't remember. I do with all the teams. So more <laughs> or less, I imagine Hero could probably get that for us here in a second with, again, Hero is our lovely observer that we're going to have today. Uh, if it wasn't for him today, we wouldn't be having a stream. So thanks to Hero as well. Shout out to him, especially in being in the background. Uh, for the current uh, coming up match, this game will be a little bit small. We are currently getting the live stream from another source. So... If you're wondering why the game is a little bit small, that will be why. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and go to match and modes here. Um, so we got Hardport Tuscan, we got SND Desert Siege, and we got Control Tuscan. Control is finally back for the K7 League. Um, we did not have that week one. But with the other two maps, if we get to a map four and five, we will have Bow Cage. Uh, so pretty interesting. Yeah, so. With Tuscan Hardpoint and uh, Bocage Hardpoint, if we get to it, you know, those have been really good game modes so far. I know for UGK, I know they have won both their Hardpoints uh, pretty convincingly. Um, and their SD, of course, is Desert Siege, which I don't think we've seen that much. Um, I, I, have we seen that at all in the K7 League? Um, I don't think we have. <clears throat> Okay, so we just got information. They've only picked it um, because Ray wanted to G. He said, what was it again, Hero? He said, G GA it in Desert Siege on Veto. So a little information there. So that's why they picked Desert Siege. Yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see Desert Siege. Uh, I know personally, I I never really liked the map, but it's, it actually was entertaining to watch uh, during other leagues. So I'm, I'm really hoping they can give us a good match in that uh, Desert Siege. And then, of course, we have uh, everyone's favorite game mode finally back in the K7 League. We got Control, which, I mean, was debuted in the last stream for K7. And now we get to see it uh, with, by UGK and 0-1. to one. Uh, I don't know how either team has practiced so far on either map, but or uh, on the game mode, sorry. But uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm definitely excited to see it as well. I mean, because... Uh, control could go either way, in my opinion. I mean, I've seen really good teams lose to other teams that would be would be pretty decent. Um, so I, I think I think control, if um, if anyone was to take it, I think zero to one could probably have a good chance of taking it. Um, as we do eventually go ahead and get into these rosters that we do got coming up as well, um, which is going to be our first one, which is going to be UGK. So we got Juju, Prom, R, Nick, Hay, and Mirage. A uh, pretty solid squad, if you ask me. I mean, again, these guys are scary to look at on on paper, honestly, and truly going through the AM scene. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I um, mean, as we get into zero to one's roster, uh, we will have Fios, Ray, Inferno, V Rail, or Rail, and Nutty Cod. Um, actually. 
Oh. So then, um, I didn't quite catch that hero. Sorry. Oh. Okay, so Hero let us know that a couple of people from Rated Gaming, who was actually one of the top teams last season, are actually on this uh, roster. And another fun fact about Zero to One is that they have already used two of their emergency pickups for this game. Um, uh, Phyllis Ray and Inferno were already on the roster, but uh, V Rail and Nutty Cod were actually not on the roster um, earlier. And you only get two emergency selections. And they used it both to pick up uh, Nutty and v -Rail, so let's see how that's, that's going to work out for them. So they have two substitute players, so. <clears throat> no, yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm pretty interested on how they use those. And uh, what, I'm, what I heard is they ended up already winning a land, if that was correct, Hero. On a scrim center land. So yeah, so these guys have won a land together. So that's pretty interesting. So just judging by that information that we just received, that these guys won a land, and we've known to be, we know UGK to be pretty dominant when it comes to their maps. I think we're gonna have a really good uh, matchup here. Honestly, I, I would love to see a uh, a map five actually. A hundred percent. I mean, you you have this team that uh, just won a land. I mean, you have UGK who are coming off a. Uh, you know, an unfortunate L in the league qualifiers. So, I mean, both teams have something to prove today. I mean, UGK, I mean, has been seen as the top team, top two, depending on how you feel about uh, Team Final Strike. Zero to one, kind of in that middle range. You know, they're they're up there, but they're not, you're, they're not the UGK or TFS as of right now. But, I mean, that can easily change. Like you said, we have a new game mode with control. So, I mean, any team, that's anybody's field right now because control is completely new for everyone i mean i'm sure mo neither team has too much experience uh practicing it since it was just recently fixed so i mean right now i i can see that going either team and then you know one s and d one hard point goes zero to one's way and then all of a sudden you're looking at a map five and you know juju how is juju and co gonna respond to some competition oh yeah 100 percent. i mean just uh, like I said, we we just heard that you know they won that land. So I mean, with for how predictions ended up going for um, K7, I mean I think we're gonna have zero to one. Probably be one of those top uh, teams going forward, um, especially if we see them uh, perform very well against UGK tonight. Um, so I mean, you know, speaking of predictions, I mean I wouldn't mind seeing those and seeing how everybody had those predictions so far. Um, if we can get those pulled up on screen here as well. There's no predictions. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. We don't have any predictions yet. Um, so we don't have any predictions for, for these teams, uh, so that's unfortunate. But, um, I mean, we can always make our own, right, Dill? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's what I was going to ask you. What is, what is your prediction for this series, uh, Hyper? Uh, so, okay, so judging by the information that we did just receive, I, I would I would really think, I think I have, I think I will have to go to UGK and probably say they win it 3-2. Yeah, you know, I was actually going to go with the same thing. I mean, they, you, as you said, uh, Zero to one just recently won that land, so I mean they could steal a map like very quickly. I mean as long as, if they can win like a hard point or SD, the first, first hard point or SD, I could see very easily see this going to map five, especially like I said with control. I mean you have so much randomness in control right now. Um, UGK or sorry, zero to one could very easily steal that, and all of a sudden, like I said, you're just looking at a map five. And I'm I'm really hoping for a three to two. I'm gonna have to lean UGK. I have more. Uh, knowledge on their team as a uh, overall unit but i mean anything is possible any given uh any given tuesday 100 percent. anything is possible who knows we could see a 3-0 come out from zero to one and they just 3-0 ggk we don't know if we're going to yeah. see that anything can happen i mean so just again i mean i i want to see a really good match going forward as we um i'm pretty sure we are currently waiting for three players to get into the lobby um as we just got that information um so i mean yeah if uh anything i mean i'm ready to go ahead and probably take this to a break while we wait for the players yeah i understand agree uh you know We'll get back to you whenever the uh, the map is ready.
Well, welcome back, right. everybody. Uh, so as we go ahead and get started into the game, hopefully here pretty soon. Uh, we are still waiting for one more person to join. Um, but if I didn't hear, I think we got some uh, power rankings coming up for us. Uh, real deal. Oh uh, yeah, we do. We got some standings and power rankings. So let's uh, get right into it. All right. Okay. Standings. Uh, so the overall standings. Uh, this is for Division Alpha. We're going to have TFS, uh, Team Final Strike, 2-0. and Currently with a 6-0 to zero map count, we have UGK, who we are seeing tonight, 2-0, uh, and o, also with a 6-0 and o map count. Then we're going to have Dawn of Chaos, 2-0 and o as well, 6-2, and 0-1, 1-1. 3-3 uh, map count so far, so they won 3-0 and lost 3-0. Uh, CDC Gold, 1-1, one one, also 3-0 and 3-0. Pulse 7-8, uh, Team Mist, and SYG all sitting at the 0-2 uh, range. Oh yeah, um, most definitely. Um, and as we go ahead and get into the division uh, Bravo side as well, we got Lurk Blue, who's currently leading uh, two two zero as well as the six map count win. Um, and then we got Team Veer, who is honestly one of the shocking teams for my um, for me to be to see them currently two zero as well. Uh, and again, six six map wins. Um, they do have two map losses, so that's obviously why they are down into the second. Um, place here for the Bravo, but we do also have Millennium Seven, which interesting little feedback from them. Um, they have a whole new roster um, going into Week Two, um, so there was issues that happened with their previous roster. I think that's happened, um, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how they're going to end up performing later on this week with their new roster and to see where they're going to be yeah. placed uh, after this. Um, which uh, their new roster is currently Passion and Co. Um, we'll probably have updates on the full roster a little later on, I imagine. But again, you know, as we go on and continue, we got Natural Talent at fourth, uh, Vanguard at fifth, Nola Flight at sixth, uh, King Grant Killers at seventh, and Five Star Esports at eighth. Which I think I had to comment on Five Star. They shocked me a little bit. Um, they went to map five. Um, yes, last night uh, it was a. a against um i'm pretty sure it was against no, or lurk blue yeah it was lurk blue and they took it to them so i mean judging by that i mean you know you got one your first seed and your eighth seed and they were battling it out i think we're gonna have a pretty good division here for bravo oh yeah a hundred percent i mean the these teams are like i said any given day you never know who's going to come out and shock i mean you you can have the eighth seed you can have the first seed it really doesn't matter when you're talking about call of duty uh, any team can come back and win this. Uh, and as I'm getting a quick update, that there is st we are still currently waiting for one more player in the lobby. We want to get you guys into this uh, UGK zero to one match as soon as possible. But uh, you know, Call of Duty kids always having fun, uh, <laughs> taking their sweet time. So, <laughs> uh, and yeah, I, I do find it uh, interesting that you brought up Millennium Seven having a new roster. Um, I'm I'm really excited to see how that team's going to play out too. I believe whenever they uh, Millennium Seven was looking for the roster, they wanted a top thirty-two uh, amateur team. So we are going to get a good quality team, uh, hopefully from Passion and Co. So, oh yeah, I, I would love to see another top thirty-two team coming into K Seven. That would definitely spice mm. it up a lot. And and Dill, I haven't noticed here, but I mean, do we have the same chair here? I mean, uh, like do, we do. Do. I, I think so. <laughs> it looks familiar there. We got the black and white chairs in the background. I, I love to see it. I love to see it. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what they say, great minds take a like, you know? Oh, you gotta, definitely you, you gotta have your gaming chair. I mean, gaming chairs instantly improve your accuracy by like at least plus 20. Oh, 100%. I mean, dude, accuracy is all day, all, all day, every day, uh, especially when it comes to these chairs. Um, but again, yeah, we are still waiting on that one player uh, as we do go ahead and continue. Um, and we're going to go ahead and run to another short break for you guys. We do apologize. Uh, and hopefully we get that one player back in here. Yeah. Okay, so he, oh. he's getting scan and repair. That's what it is. Okay. All right. See you guys after the break.
eyes just don't feel the same oh, 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 oh. back my life inside a car hit the button drive real far but that wreck could only die oh, oh, oh. All right, everybody, welcome back as we're going to go right into this map of Tuscan as we go ahead and get into it. Um, I mean, uh, so what are you looking for right off the bat, uh, Dale? Uh, I, I'm, I'm really looking for zero to one to immediately put in map pressure and, okay, there's the fourth. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I, <laughs> I was scared. I saw three people. But uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm really looking for zero to one, just uh, putting immediate pressure on this P1. I mean, the P1 is typically your scrap here of the two hill uh, or the five hills. So you, you can't really let UGK start off to a hot lead. Oh, no, yeah, 100%. I mean, if you let UGK start off to a hot lead, I mean, there's there's going to be some, something wrong going into this game fully. Uh, so as we do go ahead and get started here, though, we do got 0-1 to one, hopping right on the point. They're not wasting no time, but, I mean, two do go down uh, right off the bat for uh, UGK. I mean, so they're doing a dominant start right off the bat. I mean, I'm liking this. Yeah, they are. Uh, you have Pro MR already starting off 3-0, you know, uh, and... Side of zero to one, uh, you finally have a fertile take being the second person to get a kill. Um, but you're gonna need to already step up 0 and 1. They did start off solid, they got 16 seconds on the board, and then UTK just got a pretty quick split. As we do already have four down for UTK or for sorry, zero to one, sorry. So, uh, zero to one is gonna have to go ahead and get this uh rotation, kind of talk up this hill, and uh, we're gonna see how this goes. Yeah, as they go ahead and move on to the rotation, you got two already to the back, and you got number one, who is V Real, uh, who's already set up on the P5 rotation here, um, as they are going to be pushing through the house, and he does get taken down, so that's unfortunate. So now you got to kind of scramble if you're inside of zero to one, oh, and you. Oh, I thought he was going to get two piece. Big two piece. I thought he was get it. <laughs> that's already three down for UGK, but or for zero to one, but they already do get spawns. So, uh, we're going to have a two v two in church and. Zero to one, they're gonna pick up two big kills. Two is gonna spawn out mid. Uh, two is not moving. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> um, as yeah, UGK uh, broke this hill pretty quickly. It's already 60 to 22, getting an advantage. And 
So I mean, yeah, as they, we go ahead and they already broke the already broke the hill, and just like that, I mean, it's like Another we're already gonna down. call for a rotation if you're zero to one. Uh, but as we say that, they're still fighting for this last ten seconds here, as they will go ahead and get the last ten seconds. But I mean, <laughs> GK, they're already set up on the next point, and they're just waiting. They're just sitting here waiting for everybody to come through and to pick them off one by one. As we do got two people pushing out, Inferno is gonna go to pick up one nicely done. It's gonna be on Juju. Pretty important kill as they do have one person coming from the back, but there doesn't matter. Teammates gonna pick up the kills and it's gonna be trade for trade as they go ahead and push to this next point. And UGK does get the spawn out, so zero to one. They're going to have a chance to break this hill with a 3v2, now a 3v3 as six catches up. Um, oh, and then as soon as I say that, zero to one does get the spawn out. Uh, it it looks solid for a second. You, you did get that break, even though, uh, as you said last hill, you got 10 seconds, but at what cost? Um, so they, for what it took, they did make a, uh, a great attempt as, uh, Mirage is on a currently five streak, by the way. He is Ooh. being at a man on a mission on the hill. <laughs> he has been oh. on the hill the entire time and just went on a five, uh, but he does get shut down before he can get the, uh, the strafing run. No, yeah, most definitely. But again, I mean, we see the same thing that just happened. Uh, zero to one fighting for that last 10 seconds. They do secure it. So that puts them to 42 to 102. But again, like you said, at what cost does that come into their mind? You know, I mean, they all go down once again with Juju getting the nice two piece to the middle there. As we do, we got Ray going to try to come up. He's going to go push through top church. So he's going to try to maybe pick off somebody. That's but three. as I say that, he does go down. And that's, yeah, that's three down there. Make it another one from Juju. And it just doesn't look yeah. like a good start from the side of zero to one. Yeah, uh, Nick Hate also went on a five streak, so now you have two streaks to work with if you are the side of UGK, and you have a 80 point lead to work with. So zero to one, really. Yeah, I mean they're 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 great at getting 10 seconds, but I mean you're gonna need a little bit more than 10 seconds. Um, could make a joke, but uh, we'll, we'll keep it PG. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways, uh, UGK are going to get the last of these uh, few seconds, as and they're already going to be rotated. You see Mirage and Nick Hate already on rotation. Uh, Nick Hate does get shut down, but Mirage, I mean, he, he did it once already on uh, P3, where he held it on his own, and it looks like he's going to go for it again as he's on a four, and he's trying to pre-fire, and he's, okay, he is going to get some help. So it, it really is going to come down to a big break from zero to one. They really need this break now. As we have a two for two trade, three for two, and it's all left to the side of Inferno to help zero to one, and he's just gonna go in and he gets shut down too. And I mean, it, it's looking very dominant for UGK right now. Oh, indeed it is. I mean, if I'm if I am correct, I think as of this point, unless uh, zero to one gets a couple more points, I think this is probably the most dominating performance we probably see in uh, Vanguard uh, this season. I mean, you got 175 to 43, and with Prome hitting shots just like that, I mean, just coming naturally to the kid. He's just he's just on a roll right now. Uh, but yeah, we got, you know, Mirage 13-6. We got Prome 16-9, and nine, make it 16-10 as he does fall. Nick Hate 14-10, and 10, and Juju 17-6. and six. I mean, these guys are playing perfect COD right now. I mean, exactly. I mean, uh, uh, Juju, 17 and 6, and he had a minute on Hill. Mirage, 13 and 7, and he has 15 seconds. So, I mean, the, they're not only out slaying 0 to 1, but they're also getting that Hill time and spreading out pretty evenly. And on the side of Z2O, I mean, you currently have Nutty going 5 and 18, Fios going 9 and 16, Inferno going 8 and 15. V Rail, he's, he's trying his hardest. He's going 12 and 16. And Pro MR getting three kills. I mean,. It, four. Four. Oh my, Pro MR is, is, he's just a man on a mission. He now has his glide bomb. I believe that's three players now with a glide bomb for the side of UGK. And I mean, it, it, when you have shots like this, Pro MR is untouchable. Oh. Pro MR is untouchable right now. Oh my oh, God. Oh man. Dude, man, the man's going off. He I went mean, on an eight streak in a matter of 30 seconds. I mean, <laughs> like he, you, you can't teach this. This this is just points proven here why we why UGK is it's so scary whenever they when they, if someone is facing up against them. I mean you can't let this happen. I mean you know he finally does go down, but, I, but again 25 and 11 from the man. I mean he's just he's just showing what he does best, and I mean he's getting four pieces just easily uh, as everyone again goes down from the side of zero to one. I mean you got to stop this. You got to be able to get a stop, and you got to get these rotations down. You can't let them yeah. break you if you do get them, and you just, you, I mean, honestly, Man, you gotta shut that from far away. Oh, but okay, as soon as I say that they do get a kill, too, I mean, it, 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 you're gonna need a little bit more than a mile, but I mean, 
there is a chance here. I mean, it's never over until it's over, but UGK is going to need three seconds to, uh, in this game. As they, and they're just going to go immediately for a three push. And uh, the, the scoreboard pops up. Nutty picks up two. Okay. The, zero to one is fighting. I mean, you got to give them credit. I mean, they, as I said, they were great at 10 seconds, but uh, UGK is just immediately on the rotation. And Juju picks up two. Oh, no. Turning them off, and that's just going to be game. Oh, no. They left the point too early, and a player from UGK just stuck back and waited and took the last three oh. seconds to go ahead and take out that round. Oh, that's unfortunate. I mean, you were gonna, you had to rotate, so I mean, you did have some pressure there. But again, dominant performance as we do see the the replay here from Promar. And man, it's just twenty six and thirteen, and uh, Juju twenty six and ten as well. Uh, these guys, they're just, they're. I mean, I don't know what to say. That was a huge dominant performance by the side of UGK. I mean, yeah, exactly. You said it perfectly. I mean, this is perfect Call of Duty. I mean, you had everyone going off. I mean, you had an eight streak in a matter of two wipes. He, he literally just killed four people. And then he was like, you know what? I'm not done. I'm going to kill four more again. Like that. You, you can't allow that if you're on the side of Z2O. No, you definitely can't. I mean, yeah, like you said, I mean, he got four. He got two full wipes in a matter of 30 seconds. Uh, that was just perfect by him. Uh, so again, you know, UGK, they go up 1-0 in a series. And I mean, after that dominant performance, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if my predictions are going to are gonna <laughs> match up to this. I mean, um, I don't know. I may want to change them, but I can't change them as we already stated them. Who knows? Maybe we see something out of 0-1 to one in this S&D, and hopefully they get something going. And you know, hopefully their stats are a lot better than UGKs and get us to at least a map 4 if they win this uh, S&D. Yeah, I mean, you just have to basically immediately hit a, uh, you know, a mental restart. If you're z zero to one, you gotta be like, okay, you know, they're a really good hardpoint team. I mean, we we have seen uh, UGK be dominant in hardpoints all uh, all season so far. So I mean, it, it it's not you know it's not over yet. I mean, you still have SND, you still have that wild card game mode in control. So if you're on the side of zero to one, you you just gotta mentally reset. You gotta be like, okay, what went wrong? How are we how are we gonna stop that right now? Like we we can't allow us to go four down like that. We can't allow us to I mean I mean four down, I mean going down to one person. So you have this S and D, it's a lot slower of a game mode. You you work your round, you gotta work out your strats. So hopefully, like you said, zero to one can make a great great regain here. Oh, 100%. I mean, I, I, I hope they can. Uh, again, you know, SD is a whole different game mode. So, I mean, you know, they may just be, you know, like everyone says. I mean, maybe they're those SD kids. They're SD stars. You never know. We can definitely see it happen. And like I said, I really do want to see that. At least a map four going forward. Um, uh, and if they, like I said, if they end up taking a map off of UGK, who is a pretty dominant team, I mean, they could go up in power rankings for everybody else out there. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, um, it looks like we do have everybody in the lobby, but uh, we're gonna go back into the maps and row real quick. Uh, we will see, like I said, uh, Desert Siege, first time being played in the K7 League. Uh, it, it, it was kind of, a, I guess, a spite pick, I guess, <laughs> uh, for the side of UGK. Uh, I remember Zero to One wanted to um, GA all together, so they wanted to just say, hey, we both agreed to ban Desert Siege. Let's pick between the three other SD maps. Uh, Juju said, no, I do not want to do that. So they ended up just doing the regular veto system and banning two maps. And for some reason, despite zero to one, not wanting to, or wanted to automatically agree to not play Desert Siege, they didn't ban Desert Siege. So I, a little confusion there, but we will get to see the s and uh, Desert Siege. And obviously after that, uh, Control or yeah, Control on Tuscan. And then if we can get to it, Bow Cage on Heart. Hardpoint on Bowcage, not Bowcage on Hardpoint, and uh, SD on Bowcage. Oh, 100%. And I mean, this is where we see it, right? This is where we see snipers come back into play. And I know everybody likes it. I'm looking for the bing bongs, honestly, and truly, <laughs> when we come down to it. I mean, I want to see a clean headshot coming through and seeing if they can get it going. Even a collateral. I mean, if they get a collateral, oh, yeah. oh man. Uh, that's going to be unfortunate for the team if a team gets collided, that's for sure. Oh, 100%. I mean, like, I, I'm, I've always been a big fan of snipers. I was really sad in Cold War when it was taken out because of the broken smoke. So I, I really am hoping for, like you said, some bing bongs. Uh, <laughs> you know, nice little headshot peaks. Um, 
Uh, as apparently every a uh, couple players from the lobby disconnected, so we are currently only miss we we were missing two. Now we are missing one player, so I don't know what happened there. But uh, we'll get right into this S and D as soon as possible. Oh, 100 percent. I mean, I I want to see I want to see if we get an ace coming into play. I mean, I I kind of smell an ace coming too. I mean, it's Desert Siege. I mean, you can wrap around anywhere you can, and you can easily <laughs> yeah. get behind the other enemy team. I mean, even if you're just sitting there army crawling across the map, as you do, go ahead and get into the Desert Siege map, and I'm I can't wait for it. Oh, I can't wait either. And someone in chat did say Nick hates uh, snipes for UGK. So uh, as we Ooh, can see, a sniper is. immediately. Oh man, I cannot wait for some beating A hundred percent. As we just wait for the countdown, and like, yep, like we see right off the bat. I mean, we got the sniper out. Players waiting for the countdown. As it does, little take a little long for it to count down. I've have noticed that, but yeah. there we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven. As it starts counting down, <laughs> and we go ahead and get into this uh, first round of S and D. Yeah, and I I have no idea why they decided to do a uh, thirty second countdown, but we are going to be on the side of Nick Hate who will be the sniper um, as he, you know, he's going to control A. And it looks like it's going to be a very quick A push from 0 to 1, but Mirage is going to go ahead and shut down Inferno Pro MR. And there's the bing bong. There it is. And that's three down, and now it's already down to V-Rail in a 1v3, and it's a very quick UGK win. Oh, 100%. A very quick win as they do. Just they waste no time whatsoever. I mean, each player, I'm pretty sure, got a kill that round. Oh, no, I think, yep, GG, yep. Everyone got a kill from that round, I'm pretty sure. Um, so when we go ahead and go forward in this next round, I mean, I'm looking for uh, zero to one to answer back. I mean, get a quick answer back and go into another round three. Mm -hmm. I mean, 100%. Uh, S&D is a, you know, typically more defensive favorite. So, you know, UGK probably... Could have just had a very really good setup on the defense. Um, as you were right, UGK did go on. Um, sorry, did all get a kill. So we are going to have another A push, this time from UGK. Um, okay, there's the first blood. I, I was I was looking at the mini-map. Uh, <laughs> Nick Hayes is going to go for the snipe, and uh, th there it is. Zero to one, immediately picking up two. And now we're already into a 2v4, uh, as we, we are going to watch Nick Hate who... I don't know if you can see the player through that. I, I there are some destructibles there, so I didn't know if you could see it. This time he I he did see that guy. He did see Nutty, and oh. Nutty's gonna get the snipe. So I immediately answered back from zero to one. No, yeah, good answer back as well. Wasn't as quick as UGK, obviously, but here we go. Nutty gonna head to go to get the bing bong right there. Gonna answer back with one of his own. Uh, as they do, go ahead and tie it up. Now one to one. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and wait for them to get in this next round. I mean, I, I, I want to see them go ahead and get a better um, defense here. Um, pretty no or no no no, we get a better offense here. I'm sorry, I apologize. As yeah. um, they're gonna, I want to see if they can go for a B push. I think they all pushed for A last time and they just got slaughtered. Um, it, it looks like it's going to be a 1-2 one, one, split, so you have two people going A. One person hovering on that mid-map has two and six are right next to each other. And now he sees, oh, he misses snipe. And there's already two down. Juju is going to pick up two uh, big kills already. Oh. And Mirage is going to pick up another, and it's a 1v4 already for Nutty. Uh, and I believe Nutty is sniping, so this is not... Is he getting assassinated? He's getting assassinated. Ooh. Oh, no. I, I saw that I saw that player it. on the mini map getting really close, and I was like, "Wait a minute!" <laughs> Juju's just staring. <laughs> oh, Juju steals it. Oh, he stole the kill. Oh, he stole the kill. <laughs> oh, the shame, shame from Juju uh, there. Oh, that's see, unfortunate. Yeah, see if that's me, Juju's getting dropped. I I want to <laughs> stop. Like, no, we we can allow that. As Juju is starting off four and one with a three streak. GG already misbehaving with his teammates to steal and kill is just, just to have some fun, I imagine. As they are now up to one, as they're gonna be on the offensive side here, and they're gonna look for a flat fast A plant. And um, as oh, Nick Kate gets gets another kill with a sniper. I mean, I think he's uh I think he's um three for four now on a sniper shot, so if, if I'm correct on that. Um, I mean I'm not exactly a mathematician, but uh if he was three <laughs> for four, he'd have three kills, so <laughs> But anyways, uh, UGK uh, are gonna have a three, a four three advantage. But Nutty does hit the snipe on Nick K, so he anything you can do, I can do better. So we are gonna get a quick bomb down on B, and it, two kills get picked up by Pro MR and Inferno. So now we're gonna have a two v two, a two v one as Fields Ray gets another kill, and Inferno sees him. 
He's going to make that call to Ray, and Ray goes down to throw him our sniper and the chow. Shoot. Oh, no. Yeah, that, uh, did, did he have to reload? I I don't know. I I thought you could shoot through that through those barriers, but I guess not. I mean, I'm if I'm him, I'm clearly shooting through those barriers right there. I mean, yeah. I imagine it's wood. You should be able to shoot through it, and he was pretty low on HP. Uh, I I don't know. I think that's uh, that was a that was a one v two choke from the side of zero to one. Uh, yeah. And UGK go up three one. I mean, they had it in a bag. I mean, I uh, they get sniped one player, and the other player gets taken down. Uh, that's I, a fortunate plays there from the side of zero to one. I, I'm just so confused. I mean, even if you couldn't shoot through the wood, uh, he he like snapped onto him after he peeked out of the wood and just never shot it. I, I couldn't tell if he needed to reload, but um, as we are going to get a, a four stack mid, uh, Pro MR is going to take down Nutty and Free Rail is going to take down Pro MR. So we're going to have a three stack in mid for zero to one while UGK is just trying to peek and Mirage sees two go up the stairs. So he's going to make that call to seven and eight. As well, Mirage is about to get a flank. He's going to pick up one. He's going to pick up two. And now it's already down to another 1v3 for v -Rail. And Mirage, oh, barely doesn't get the three, but v -Rail does snap onto him. So we are going to have a 1v2. It, it's definitely winnable. He knows he knows that player's sniper. He's going to chow. He does not get the kill. Okay, so we yeah, have about 38 seconds. And he goes for a very aggressive chow. And... UGK already up four to one. Yeah, they are up four to one. Already showing a dominant performance in, in this SMD. I mean, he he almost had it. I mean, he uh, could have made it a one v one situation, but he wasn't able to get the shots um, on the back tower there, which is unfortunate. But again, nice round out of the side of UGK as we go ahead and get to this next round. And you know, again, uh, UGK on the offensive side, zero to one on the defensive side. Um, and we're going to get started. And I look to see. I mean, this whole uh, you know Nick Hate versus Nutty Sniper battle here. <laughs> uh, I want to see. I want to see who could take this next one if they go ahead and get into the line of sight of each other. As you do have the push coming into play, and Nutty, oh, there he goes. Nutty. Get him. He takes him out. Takes him out immediately. <laughs> as that's going to go ahead and push him. You know, it's going to put uh, to Nutty to now four to four. As the plant will come into play for the side of UGK, as Mirage is looking over at him, will be able to get some shots in, but not gonna be able to finish it. As the nade's gonna come out for the side of V Rail, and they're looking to try to he get a pick shot. here, if possible. And but promo gets one, one promo gets two. two. Nicely done. As it is now gonna be a three v two situation, as zero to one is now uh, going and rotating over. Yeah, and yeah, we're gonna have a two v three Inferno and Nutty versus Pro MR Mirage and Juju. Nutty's gonna have to snipe, and he hits the one, so now it's a two v two. Uh, bomb is oh, down. Oh, oh, now he hits two. He, he still has a chance. They have to find this last guy as they're going to hop on the bomb. Then he has to cover. He, he's, he's just shooting. He sees the player. He sees the player. We're going to get the he, kill. He does not get the kill. He Wait, got the they, got the they got the bomb. Zero to one will get it. I could not tell for a second. I thought he hopped off the bomb. I, for I a did second, too. I, thought he did. I was like, what are you doing? You, oh you, man! But oh man, what a great play from zero to one. Nutty hitting two big snipes that round, and uh, obviously defending his teammate uh, who got the fuse. I, I don't remember who the teammate was, but they they picked up a great defuse. That's a big round to win. For two seconds, I thought the player hopped off the bomb to get the kill, uh, I did and too. I was like, no way he hopped <laughs> off. But they caught the defuse as we go ahead and get into this round number seven now. And you know what? Well, Maybe we can see it again. Round seven cursed. As zero to <laughs> one win this round seven, I think they can win the rest of the SD. I think they can pull it back and they can go ahead and get this SD win. Uh, as we do go ahead and see Inferno, you know, throwing a grenade, you know, making sure no one's below him. Uh, you know, Ray looking for the outside here, and oh, he gets picked off by Mirage. As Nutty and Juju go ahead and get another kill and on to Nutty. Uh, looked like Nutty put away the sniper, but v Row will go ahead and get a trade on the Juju, which makes it now actually, nope, a 1v3 situation. Makes it a 1v2 as an Inferno ha still has bombs, so he doesn't have to worry about going and picking it up. As he will go ahead and sit here in the house in the house here. As he goes and pushes out towards, oh, oh, never mind, he changes his mind. Just breaks the wall, you know, friends into it. Next head, <laughs> knocks his head onto it, you know, makes it look like he's going that way. Um, as he will finally go ahead and get this rotation out, but Nick Hate sees him and gets the snipe! Nicely done! Bing bong, as always. <laughs> yep, as they will now go up 5-2. to two. Oh, man. I, I, I really don't like Nutty putting away the sniper there, I'll be honest. I mean, Nutty has... He was leading the team currently. He was like 6-5 and five with the sniper, and then he pulls out a sub and then challenges as if he has the sniper, so... Uh, a weird, a weird play from Nutty, but, um... You're definitely going to need uh, some step-ups right now. I mean, Inferno and uh, Ray 
sitting two and six, three and six. Um, Nutty putting the team on his back, or at least trying to put the team on his back with the sniper. Uh, as we have the side of Mirage and Pro MR, I mean, uh, double positive and down. all right, there's two big kills already. Feels right, Varel now in a 2v4 for the match and Ugh. make that a 1v4 for the match. I mean, you, you're, you're going to need a miracle if you're right here. And he's playing Ring Around the Rosies. And he does pick up one. I feel like they're going for the assassination, though. Oh, okay, yeah. there it is. Okay. That's it. <laughs> As UGK is going to pick up the map to 6-2 to two and go up 2-0 in the series. Yeah, definitely not what you want to see if you decide uh, if you're a fan of zero to one. I mean, uh, it did look it did look a little decent in the S and D. Um, but what more can you ask for though? If you are a UGK fan, that's for sure. I mean, six to two. Uh, I mean, look, Mirage. I mean, eleven to five. I mean, he was doing it in he was doing it in the hard point, and he's doing it in the S and D. Uh, he's looking pretty good, and that's a player I'm definitely gonna have to keep my eyes on. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, I, Mirage, like you said, he's he's been that workhorse so far for the side of UGK, and I mean. You've I haven't really, as my voice starts to die, uh, you you haven't really seen that from the side of zero to one. So you uh, you're gonna need. I mean, you're down to zero. Yeah, I mean, what do you have to lose? You got to come out in this control, and you you have to start frying. I mean, you are going to have to keep up with that slaying potential of UGK. That's the only way you're gonna make this comeback. I mean, uh, control new game mode. I don't know how much uh, zero to one or sorry UGK has practiced this game mode. So zero to one, if they've gotten some scrimmages in, they they couldn't make the start here. You have to start here, obviously. So we're gonna hope for uh, control, at least make it interesting. Uh, and that's all we can really ask. No, yeah, uh, like this this control right here, I mean, this is where you come back. This is where it starts. Uh, and I mean, as we go ahead and uh, go to the maps and modes, again, Tuscan. Uh, this is pretty popular map, and like I said, if you're gonna bring a make a comeback here, this is where it starts. You got to start off yeah. strong. You cannot go down 2-0. But I mean, interesting little st strat that um, or stat that I have seen. Every time a team has gone up 2-0, the other team ends up winning the control. For some unknown reason, <laughs> these teams are always getting reverse sweeps on control. It's happened <laughs> numerous of times that I've seen. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, even like last year in uh, Cold War, I mean, it, you you can take a control very easily. I mean, control is a very 50-50 game mode if you know what you're doing. So I mean, you can see zero to one, win this control, and then you know momentum just starts going towards you. You know, once you can stop this 2-0 and be just you know you hold the bleeding and mm -hmm. you win this control and you have a good chance to make a comeback here. Uh, as I did see in the in the chat, there was a joke saying zero to uh, zero to two. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that's funny oh yeah, as, as we wait for the next lobby to go ahead and get started, uh, so I mean, yeah, I think if if zero to one can win that control, I think they have the potential to definitely win that uh, hard point. As we are missing one player, as we do go ahead and get an update from again our lovely observer here on the background. Um, Pro Prom are he's uh, lagged out from the lobby, so we're just waiting for him to get back up. Um, so I mean, wh what's your prediction for this? I mean, do you do you see zero to one coming out with this uh, control? I mean. Obviously, I want to. I, I want to see zero to one put up a fight. I want this to go to a round five if we can get that. Or I mean, like even even if it's not a round five, I want zero to one to win this. I, I want them to make that start that comeback because you, you never want to end a series in a three zero, obviously. But I mean, no, when yeah. you look at the side of UGK right now, I mean they are guns blazing right now. I mean that hard point was a dominant hard point. I believe almost everyone had a two KD or at least above a one point five. And obviously, Mirage is just being a man on a mission. He picked up that the two four down immediately in that hard point, and then goals in that and goes eleven to five. So I mean, you, you can't really bet against UGK right now. But I, I really do, really do want to see something zero to one. Oh yeah, I, zero to one. Like I said, if if it starts, it starts right now. Um, I mean, if you get this momentum and you get momentum shift this uh, during this match, I mean, like I said, you could easily take this hard point and we could push it to a map five, but that's a long shot to go and I'm, I would love to be able to see it. Uh, so as again, we are still waiting for that one player. Oh, as we do get information that we are going to be starting to this next match of Duskin Control and I can't wait for it to start. Yes, absolutely. 
cannot wait for you know just like you said just the, the start of the comeback it all starts here we want to see zero to one you know keep uh, <laughs> as a uh, hero is uh sending us great messages but uh yeah uh we do we do hero so see kind one. <laughs> yeah he he is such a nice guy honestly <laughs> uh as we are gonna go ahead and get into the tusk and control uh first our second control of the k7 season and uh here we go let's get into it can't tell who we're starting on the side of but uh, whoever it is they have a lovely gun of diamond and gold yes. there i mean you know <laughs> the gold pistol and a diamond uh i think that's a i, I don't remember i think it was maybe okay, mp40 right. i don't know which gun he had i i couldn't get a good <laughs> look at it but you know either way diamonds diamonds i mean i'd love to have an irl diamond gun that's for sure <laughs> okay so we are going to start on the side of zero to one they are going to be on the offensive side uh for tusk control i know the normal push is to go a as they kind of do a two two split again they're sending two mid or two one one sorry left side right side and two mid as i believe b rel is sees the guy top church and uh immediately nick hate from are gonna pick up two who are already gonna go down juju's gonna pick up three or pick up the third, and now it, uh, Inferno, only one left on UGK, and he goes down too. So that's immediately a big four down for the side of zero to one. Oh, yeah. So, then again, uh, we just start off this control, and I mean, zero to one. I mean, they're already starting to show a little bit of struggle, but life is coming back as they're looking for this next kill. And Nick Hate does go ahead and take down Inferno, so, I mean, it's not going to start there. But, uh, you know, Ray, he's over on the B point with his teammate, who is going to be nutty. So, they are trying to look for this push, but... You know, uh, Ray does go down, but Nutty's still here fighting. He's looking for the second. He does not get it. Pro MR is going to go ahead and take him down. But again, as that's going on, Inferno, he's over at A, and he's just waiting for his teammates to come back up and to be able to help him out here on his next one. But Pro MR gets two kills. He's going to go ahead and push through the middle here. He's going to be trying to look for one. Not going to be able to do so, but his teammates are there to clean them all up. And Mirage, oh, does get taken down by Nutty. And Nutty's just going to try to play his life. Yeah, um, oh, as we have disconnect, Nick Hate. Uh I, I saw for a second it, it showed them kind of skipping around. So Nick Hayes is going to be out. But uh, yeah, UGK, they got four down and then they got really aggressive. They tried to push the spawns and it kind of gave zero to one a little bit of a spawn out. And so uh, this had a zero to one where they were able to make a very quick push to B. I, they didn't get a point, but they uh, got a little bit back into the lives because they were down about four lives and now they're about even 15, 17. Uh, as we see Varel is going to pick up one top church and it looks like they're going to try to make another B push. Um, as they got A, I completely missed them getting A. Wow. Uh, oh yeah, they, <laughs> they definitely got A. Uh, and again, I think I don't know uh, what the call will be, but there is a 3v4 situation happening currently now. Um, but I mean, UGK, they're still fighting. I mean, it's 14-13 yeah. now. I mean, if, if they pull off this 3v4 in this first round of control, I mean, that's going to be pretty impressive. I don't think they're going to have any arguments with that. Going forward, as Juju does pick up one kill with a nade, he's going to push top church. Um, we do got one player, though, from the side of U zero to one who is still on the point, which is going to be Inferno. But Juju picks up another kill. It's going to be huge. He's now one. picked up two. Oh, nicely done by Juju as they're going to all push now to this point. You've got one player okay. left, which is going to be Inferno, and in. he gets taken down. That's not good. Uh, but again, we do have the player returning, which is going to be Nick Hayden and Promo R, just showing what he did in that hard point, showing in the control, and he's just, he's just going off. Yeah, as Juju is currently onto a four streak. I mean, UGK, they, they went to a 3v4 and they held their own. I mean, they they kept lives even. They didn't go down. They didn't lose a ton of objective points. And immediately, I mean, like you said, Juju picked up a big three kills. And you, you can't allow that to zero to one. I mean, you can't allow a 3v4 to and not seize the opportunity as zero to one is going to go down with no response remaining. Pro MR is going to pick up one. And now it's a 3v seven for the side of zero to one as they're trying to still push through this p5 feels ray is going to pick up a kill but then immediately going to go down now he's going to pick up another mirage is going to get one and now it's just nutty in a 1v4 i mean you're, you're going to oh, need a mirror pull but two. nutty picks three that's three for nutty in a row he they do know where he's at though and he he's, okay oh. there he goes <laughs> there, there's shaky shots so i couldn't tell what was going on but yeah we are gonna have a, a, a big round one uh, win for UGK as you did have that 3v4 and 0-1 just didn't capitalize off of it.
No, yeah. I mean, that was a huge round by them. I mean, you go down, you're down three to four there, and that, uh, basically for the majority of that round. Uh, so, I mean, with UGK, I mean, after that, you're feeling pretty good. You've taken that round win as well. I mean, uh, they, you know, they didn't stop. They didn't, you know, end up leaving the match. They just continue with it, wait for the teammate to rejoin, and they continue to play. I mean, as we do get, you know, GG with the first blood this round, but three Ooh. do go down for the side of UGK. And it's just going to be all left up for uh, Nick Hate here as he's going to be pushing through all the way back through the spawn. He gets two. Will he make it a third? No, he does not as two more do go down for the side of UGK. And, I mean, zero to one. It's a nice start here on the defensive side as they're going to try to get onto this point. Nutty will get one. He's looking for the second. Uh, he does get two, actually. Excuse me. Um, but Inferno will go ahead and get that trade. And that's going to leave Mirage getting traded out. Whoa, actually, Inferno and Mirage trade out with each other. So good defensive <laughs> side on the head for uh, zero to one. Yeah, 100%. The UGK, uh, they ended up getting four down. They are currently up in lives. I mean, this is 100% what you want to see, but they are currently letting the B objective go as Nick Hayes going to pick up one in the spawn. And the side of 0 to 1 is kind of all spread out right now. You have two in the back, two hitting from mid. As Vio Spray is going to pick up one, but then he's going to pick up another. And then Nick Hayes going to win a big one in the back. And the side of zero to one, I mean, they're, they have to go now. UGK is now already onto the second pick on B, and Pro MR is, has had to do anything yet so far. But as I say that, there's a big four down, or three down, sorry, and there's four down uh, for the side of UGK. And I mean, zero to one, they are keeping this, they are keeping up. This is exactly what I said they need to do. They need to keep up that slang. As Fios Array, oh, he almost gets three. And we're going to have Mirage here onto the point by himself. Uh, no, actually, with Juju. And we have a Soul Star. I mean, Nick K did uh, lag out for the first uh, couple rounds, but he is a little bit slower right now. He's 6 7. Pro Omar going 10 11. Mirage, who was our big player, I mean, we expected him to go off this round, and he's currently 12 and 14. So uh, a great start from 0 to 1. This is exactly what you needed to bounce back from that first round. Oh, 100%. I mean, good start. But again, I mean, you already got two ticks over here at B, so you got to be there at every second of this round because if you just let them get two on in just like this, we're going to see it and they're going to go and take it that quick. All because at the beginning of the round, they UGK was able to sneak off and get two uh, ticks over there on the B point early on. I mean, so, I mean, that's all I took. I mean, they just had to get two people on it, and just like that, the ticks go up pretty quickly once that happens. Yeah, I mean, it was exactly kind of what happened in round one, where uh, zero to one, or in, at least in the case of round one, UGK got four down, and then pushed, kind of pushed up, got a little bit aggressive, and zero to one was able to sneak out the back and, you know, get some time on B. I mean, for zero to one's case, they weren't able to uh, formulate a tick from it, but mm -hmm. uh, it's basically the exact same thing. Zero to one got four down on the side of UGK, kind of got aggressive, UGK stunk out the back, and once they got into the back, they didn't let it go. They immediately got two picks, and it, it just, you can't allow that. I, mean, I, I keep saying that you can't allow that, but I mean, it, it, it's, it's true. true. Yeah, it's 100% uh, true. I mean, as we go ahead and start off this one, I mean, it started off looking good for the side of zero to one, but I mean, UGK answered back with four of their own. Ooh, as I do have a voice track there. <laughs> Sorry for that, I mean, oof. I'm a little rookie here, but uh, nonetheless, as they do, another four down again happened for the side of UGK as they are firing all cylinders and not want to try to let this go to a round Ooh, four. You can't allow Pro that. MR Pro MR is going on a five three. And, yeah, as he yeah. is, but he does get taken down uh, again. But you know, you got UGK 13 and two, or 13 and thir or 19 and 13. Apologies. Um, but as Mirage is setting up for this defensive push here, he's going to try to take down Nutty, and he's not going to do so yet. But streaks do come in. Yeah, Pro MR went on a quick five streak out on the side of a three piece. So, as we do go ahead and see good three go down for the side of UGK. Um, I mean, you know, you got 24 seconds left if you're the side of zero to one, and you got to make a push here, and you got to do it now if you're going to make anything happen. I mean, you don't want to go down 3 0, especially in this series, but this may happen as there's only 22 Mirage seconds left, but three. two go down, and Mirage does pick up three. Nicely done by him, and V Rail trying to clutch up when it matters the most, but he will eventually go down. And we again, this is the last push if you're the side of zero to one. Yeah. You got to go, and you got to go now. Yeah, and UGK are on a absolute firing squad setup right now on a, a point. I mean, zero to one does get on though. Now he will be able to get on, but he's gonna be taken down. There's five seconds to go, and no one on zero to one is even close. I mean, they have to sprint. They can't stop the challenge, and that's gonna be it. That's gonna be a three zero, uh, three zero in control, and three zero for the entire series for the side of the UGK.
Uh, very unfortunate if you're decided zero to one. I mean, we had, you know, at the beginning, you know, we had that information, you know, they did win that land. But, I mean, I guess, you know, it, it just shows, I mean, how how good UGK is. I mean, it. I guess they pretty much saying, you know, it doesn't matter if you guys win a land or not. We're going to take the dub regardless. And they do it in a 3-0 fashion um, for the side of UGK. I mean, that was beautifully done by them. Uh, and again, like I said at the beginning, I'll say it in the middle and I'll say it now. Uh, they're a very square, scary squad to go up against. Oh, 100%. I mean, I, when you have four players who are just shooting at that level, I mean, Mirage, I mean, I, you, every time you looked in the feed, he was picking up some type of feed. Every time. It was two, three, four. Uh, Pro MR got in a big three-piece at one point. He ended up getting streaks for that round. I mean, they are just so terrifying to go against, especially when you are unable to match that speed. When you when you play against players who like are just at another level of speed, uh, comparatively, it, it's really hard for you. I mean, I, I will give some respect to zero to one. They kept it really close in that round two, and I mean, for a little bit in that round three, it was it was relatively close until the very end when they kind of were just kind of forced to just run as fast as possible to the hill. No, yeah, I mean, you know, again, credit due where credit is due. I mean, zero to one, they did put up a good fight. Um, you know, it, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, I look forward to seeing what they can do in the future matches going forward. Um, but I'm pretty sure, you know, that puts uh, UTK up 3-0. So as of right now, they will take that first spot in, in uh, Division Alpha over Team Final Strike um, going forward. So, um, and zero to one, I mean, they do now go one to two in the... In, um, their division so i mean that's probably going to drop them a little below for right now but again once the end of the week is over and all the matches have been submitted i imagine there's going to be a little bit of difference of standings uh, <laughs> I, I, I keep looking over in the chat and of course uh zero three now they they are no longer zero to one <laughs> there's zero to three so i that that i love that joke that that is definitely going to be something i continue to use from now on but uh, uh <laughs> As uh, we are going to go ahead and, uh, you know, kind of end the stream for a little bit. But uh, come back tomorrow for the K7 League as we are going to have Natural Talent versus Team Fear, which is a matchup that I am absolutely excited to see. Natural Talent being the runner-up from last season and the winners of Season 2, I believe. Um, and versus Team Fear, who has looked so far dominant. I mean, they have been absolutely amazing so far. Um, they beat the old Millennium 7 uh, squad, sorry. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait for tomorrow. Oh yeah, I 100% I can't wait for tomorrow. I think it's going to be a good one. Um, as we do go ahead and give a shout out to our sponsors. I mean, we got Killer Jerky, we got Innovative Gear, we got Get Good Host. I mean, they aren't providing a host this season, but they are providing um, their bots to be able to get stats as well for us, which is a huge help. Uh, shout out to Kerry as well, who is our stat guy. He's been doing phenomenal, as the real deal even knows he's been helping him out as well. Oh, yeah. um, so, I mean, you know, they, they've been helping us with the streams. And so, yeah, sh uh, shout out to Glitch Energy as well, who's another sponsor of ours. I mean, if you haven't, I mean, if I'm, I'm pretty sure, honestly and truly, I mean, I think Juju and Co. probably got a little bit of Glitch Energy in them, especially after <laughs> that uh, 3-0 series. I ain't going to lie. Oh, yeah, 100%. That Get good. as Hero is currently yelling at us, Get Good um, did make this that match possible tonight because of current, some current issues with the uh, getting him server. Get Good did 100% make this match possible for tonight. And as uh, uh, Hyper said, they have been amazing for us so far in the, uh, in the K7 League in terms of getting us stats for our statistician carry, as he shouted out. Oh, yeah. I mean, like I said, I mean, again, uh, if it wasn't for Get Good, we would not be able to do this uh, stream tonight because, again, Get Good what did provide us to stream for this. So, again, shout out to Get Good. Um, as you do, go ahead and shout out Proof as well as Hero is yelling at us. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Proof. I well, appreciate your Proof. And uh, other than that, I mean, uh, so, yeah, I mean, as Hero says, he had the passion tonight. So, yeah, shout out to Proof. Uh, 100%. Shout out to everybody involved in the K7 League. Obviously, shout out to Hero being our observer. Uh, shout out to... <laughs> no shout out. <laughs> I love this. I love this community. But uh, yeah, as uh, oh, yeah. I will go ahead and end it for tonight, boys. Like I said, we have a uh, Dutch Talent team here tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I've been Dylan or Real Dill Dill. And I've been yeah. hyper 187. <laughs> <laughs> this is trying to leave that for you. Uh, but yeah, see you guys. Thank you guys for coming out. See you guys tomorrow.
the K7, kill it back to the middle of the map. Rejects gonna slide out. Rejects is there now. Gasson trying to make the play. We'll go for one. Try the free fire onto the second. But from behind, here comes Atomic for two. Are you ready for this?